Hi, welcome to a walk in the carpenter shop where together we are growing up a little bit in the carpenter shop, the environment where Jesus put some meat on the bones, if you will, answers to questions that he had and began to understand and equip himself for the ministry that he had come to earth to do. In Galatians 6, 7, it says this, Do not be deceived, God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, he shall also reap. Back in 1687, some of you may remember that, Sir Isaac Newton set forth a theory on the law of gravity. This theory was revised by Einstein and others along the way, but the law of gravity has remained an immutable principle of nature that governs the universe. Another immutable law also is at work and is found both in the physical and the spiritual realm. And this is the law of the harvest. See, you know the law of gravity. If I were to throw my Bible up in the air, it's going to come down because that's the way it works. We fall down. Gravity is what keeps us here on planet Earth. But the law of the harvest is a little bit different. The law of the harvest simplified is simply, um, if you're going to reap, you must sow. Not that complicated. Um, you sow uh, and then you reap. Makes sense. And yet, that is not only a physical principle, but it's a spiritual principle well. No farmer expects to reap a harvest without having first sowed the seed. And no farmer expects to reap the day after sowing. He knows it takes time. God applies that principle to our lives. And he applies that principle on an ongoing basis for we are constantly putting out the seed. We are constantly sowing. We are sowing into the earth, if you will, or into the good soil, those things of God. And as time goes by, he begins to grow those things to bring forth a harvest. So I guess the question for you is the same question that I would have to ask of me. Is there a harvest that is happening in your life? And if not, why not? And if there is no harvest, then you have to go back and remember um, the law of sowing and reaping. If there's no harvest, then you have to ask yourself what you're sowing. In other words, make sure you're pouring into your life those things that will bring forth results, that will be good, that will be pleasing. Bring forth a harvest that brings joy and brings honor to God. So, ask yourself each day, God, help me to sow things that are pleasing to you. And then ask yourself, what do I need to harvest this day? Because I have been waiting for this day to come and God has grown this into fruition. When you do that, you begin to see your life differently and you begin to track your life differently because you see how God is at work and what he is doing in your life on an ongoing basis. But remember, you got to sow before the harvest comes. Give it a shot. See what happens. Plant your life into that good soil of God and see what he grows. I look forward to joining you next time here in the Carpenter Shop.